Catherine and Catherine's Perfect Sense. I've got the September Whiff Box, which has come through pretty quick this month. As you can see, this is a huge one. It doesn't feel overly heavy, but it seems to be bigger than the normal box. So hopefully it's filled with lots and lots of things. I have yet to open it. So taken it out of the box it came in, left it like this. I'm gonna do the unboxing with you. So big surprise. Let's open it up and have a look. So we are September. So we're now in the winter catalog. So, Hopefully, I mean, we had lots of lovely products last month that we haven't seen before, so let's have a look. Oh, oh, there's, yeah, I can see quite a few things like a lucky dip. You've got lots of paper in here as well. Hang on one second. So we can see Scent With Love. Lots of products in there. Um, can't see them all right now. Do see a little piece of paper though. So I'm gonna read that to you first. <coughs> because I don't know what it says. Oh, it's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. So we've obviously got a range of Tim Burton stuff coming out. And he said, it's time to start preparing kids and treats for spooky gatherings, plan a Halloween town themed party and use these fun cones to pass out candy or popcorn. Cut on line, tape or glue, the straight edges together to form a cone. So, and here's the different patterns. So as you can see, there's some Jack Skellington, I think it is. I'm not sure. I don't really watch the film. There's some worms and maggots. Um, some more skulls. Lots of different things. You can make lots of little creepy cones. Hand to the children with some little sweets in there. Especially for Halloween. So I don't know if we celebrate Halloween. Seems to be a, like a month early. Halloween's next month, but... Just thought about that, sorry. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit unusual for a September box. I would have expected that more for an October box. But um, yeah, September. Let's have a look at the actual products we've got. Right, so there we go. If I tip it up, as you can see straight away, we have some wax bars. I'm gonna pull those out and show you because uh, it is big, so it's difficult to hold on to. Oh, nice green. They're very Halloween coloured. Oh, they're both green. So, <laughs> but they're both, um, I think it's a Halloween town. I'm not entirely sure. Nightmare Before Christmas. They're both Nightmare Before Christmas anyway. So this one is Jack's Obsession. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to actually open the foil oh that's quite appley i think that's got like an apple whiff about it so that's nice it's a nice sort of like crisp smell about that i like that one so that's the paler green and this one is roll of the dice that sounds creepy doesn't it so here we go <laughs> it's a darker one oh that <laughs> that's really nice actually that's got a really lovely fresh scent. I like that. Yeah, out of the two, do I give it this? This is nice. This is really good. So the darker green one. And I don't know if you'd be able to mix the two together, to be honest. They seem very different scents. This one is more of a fresh scent, a clean scent, whereas that was an apple scent. So it's more crisp, but yet a slight musk about it. Where this is like, it's, like detergent it smells like fresh like fresh linen it's really lovely i like that one that one's really good so there we go a couple of halloween bars oh let's have a look at where we are now oh look at this black raspberry vanilla that was the first fragrance and wax bar i ever got was black raspberry and vanilla we have it in two car bars so these are the ones that you Put the little plugs into the back of the bars and then you pop them on the vents of your car and black raspberry and vanilla it's really nice smell um is it as nice as rollers the dice it's different it is different but black black raspberry and vanilla like i said it's one of my first fragrances and yeah i really enjoyed it so there we go got it as a wax but we got sorry car bars 
What else have we got? We have have a friend. <laughs> got a little bitty buddy. This is a bat. It's not that's that I think that's just his name, Bat. And he is caramel apple craze, and I can tell you straight away, I won't like the fragrance. <laughs> no, he's he's too sweet for me. But um, I will just lift him out of the jar, um, well, tub, in case anyone's interested. Oh, he's got really lovely green to him, though. He's got, like, green satiny wings and ears and some little fangs. It's really quite strong in fragrance, so it's very caramelly. So he's got a very sweet sort of scent. Not my favourite, I will admit. A lot of people, you know, do like the sweeter fragrances. Personally, I don't. Um, I have a friend who loves bats, so maybe she, she'll be contacting me and wanting to give this little guy a home. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll give you a shout out. Hey, Linda, <laughs> just in case. But, um, oh, so I pushed that in. I got a whiff of the apple. It's like <laughs> everything hits you separately. But, yeah, so that's a little bitty buddy, like I said. They're really sweet. It's just memory foam infused with the fragrance. Um, I think they last a good few months. Once you wash them, the fragrance has gone, unfortunately. And we don't do a, like, a scent mist to sort of, um, in that fragrance to sort of re-scent him. But we do do other fragrance mists, so maybe you'd be able to find another one that you like to do. But... There he is. He is lovely, but like I said, not my favourite in fragrance. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right, going in. Cozy vanilla and pumpkin scent. Pumpkin, I think. So it's one of these. It's like the three D scent circle. So one bit slots into another bit. I I would just end up really smelling of the air freshener once I've done it. As you can see, there's a slit along the top. You slip, slip one into the other and it sort of like forms a 3D shape. You would hang that up. But this is Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. Don't know if it's my kind of fragrance. I quite like vanilla. Don't know about pumpkin. I've never smelled one of those before. This, I'm not sure how much these sell for, to be honest. I only know scent circles. Oh, I've got to breathe. And I think these are probably valued at a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure. When I add it all up, I'll just pop this on as a scent circle because I'm not entirely sure what what I would class like price that as. So we have one product left. Oh counter clean in Johnny Appleseed. So I do like the counter cleans, they are really good. Johnny Appleseed, I do like that fragrance. I know I just I just said I don't like sweet stuff, but this is an apple -y one. It doesn't smell like caramel, so but Johnny Appleseed's a really good one. Um the counter clean is good. It puts a protective protective <laughs> protective barrier on the counter to stop it um like getting dirty. So it sort of builds up barrier on it which is really nice this is really safe like you can wipe down and chop vegetables on something whatever eat them straight away there's nothing harmful in this so i mean obviously don't drink it or anything but you know if you clean something with it it doesn't leave any harmful residue it's not like using a bleach or you know any strong products so really nice Johnny Appleseed, Counter Clean. Again, nice, I mean, it reminds you of apple bobbing, doesn't it? Like, we're going for a very sort of Halloween-y. Is this the last one? Let me look, sorry. That was a sudden close-up of me jumping through the camera. Right, Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. All I've got is this little scent cup, which I make into samples for my customers. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to bought. Honestly, my nose is not very good at describing things. Oh, no, my thing. No, that's very, again, it's very caramel-like. Yeah. I'm trying to think. It reminds me of the Stroop Waffle Delight. It's, 
it isn't my thing I will be honest it's hmm I I'm not saying you are like it you may well but I don't even know if it would yeah, I don't even think it would grow on me. I think out of all of them, the roll of the dice is the one I like. The problem is, I always said I'd be very honest with these reviews. My nose is my nose. I, we don't all like the smell, same fragrances. You, you might like this. This is not for me, this one. So, really sorry. <laughs> That's uh, uh, for me, thank you, Sensi. But the other stuff is lovely, so... I'm going to start popping that back and then I will do a little add up of the value of everything to see what the value of this Whiff box is. So what was that? That was counter clean. Let's have a look. Um, circle. It's so difficult trying to work things out, isn't it? Counter clean. Right. Uh, Sorry, I'm doing all of this sums again and you just get to see the side of my head. I'm surprised you don't hear the cogs turning because I'm quite slow at maths, which isn't a good thing. So, uh, 5, 9, 10, 14, 15, 1, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, really? Really? That surprises me. I'm up. Sorry, just check on. And I am right. Wow. Okay. Got a £36 box. And with the scent circle being priced as a normal scent circle, because I can't think how else to price it, everything in there comes to £55.75. £55. So that's actually a bargain. I haven't included the little scent cup. I never know how to price those, to be honest, and I don't often include those. Well, I don't think I've ever included those in the price. So a £36 box, you are saving like almost £20. That is huge. That is huge. I mean, it's full of quite a few products. There are things you could give away as gifts or, you know, cleaning products, scent products, things for the car. There's quite a lot going on in that one. Um, I do like it when things have that. I remember a couple of months ago we had one where it was products like literally for everywhere in your home. It was just, you could dot it everywhere and it was going to be fantastic. This again, 55, 75, so nearly 56 pounds. And um, yeah, that is huge. Like I said, they um, six pounds postage. Want one, get your order in pretty quick because I don't know how long they last. Again, I have to say that the contents can change subject to like how many they sell. So they, they may change them out and swap things out, but you know, they will swap them for other items of same value. So that is, I've actually shocked myself and I keep thinking, have I done the maths wrong? And I'm looking at it and going, no, definitely not. So that is crazy. So that 56 pounds worth. For £36. It's absolutely brilliant. I can hear sirens going outside, maybe. <laughs> Everybody wants one. They're rushing here <laughs> to get one. Who knows? Right, I want to thank you all for subscribing. I've got more subscribers again. I am absolutely loving that. I'm sorry for taking a little bit too long to get back to some of the comments last month. Comment again this month. I will be on top of that. I'm back at work now, so hopefully I'm more in a routine. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs up anyway. Just just be nice. Be kind. Thumbs up. <laughs> um, see you again next month, I hope. And, well, or not, maybe even before. I don't know. Um, thank you, like I said, for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the kind comments that you all leave. And I'm really enjoying this. So, and I'm absolutely shocked with this price of this box. So if you want one, let me know. Right then, I will let you go. You all take care. Thank you for watching. All right, bye.